Hey guys, welcome back to Axangel RC. Today I will not be reviewing stuff, but would rather mark the beginning of a project of mine that I have been thinking about for a long time and only recently started working on it. The project in question is an all-in-one ground station in a case for my long-range FPV models, and I decided to start this off with the battery pack that will be powering the whole thing, as that will take time to test and see if it will work properly. So my battery of choice were lithium-ion cells that I removed from two replacement laptop batteries I got from eBay. All relevant links can be found in the description below. Once the cells were removed from the casings, I then cycled them a few times on my SkyRC MC3000 lithium ion battery charger. This thing is amazing as it allows you to cycle, meaning to charge and discharge, up to four lithium ion cells of differing sizes and capacities automatically and can give you tons of useful information such as total capacity, charge or discharge current, cell temperature, cell internal resistance, all information that is valuable when matching these cells for a pack. Yes, it is not the cheapest charger of the kind out there, but it is certainly the most precise one and with the most features. Absolutely love it. After the cycling was done, it turned out that the cells were not up to their advertised capacity, but that was not an issue for me because they were cheap and this is a test pack so I can run through the process of making one of these using it without risking the more expensive and higher quality cells. Since the ground station will be running pretty standard equipment I need this pack to be 3S and having 12 cells meant that I can have a 4 3S packs in parallel thus getting more capacity at 12 volts. Originally the cells should have been 2600 milliamp hours each but my tests on the charger showed them to be a around the 2000 milliamp hour mark so my pack is around 8 amps at 12 volts or with a potential capacity of 96 watt hours since i want to improve the life of the pack i'm only going to be charging it up to 4.1 volts per cell and discharging it down to around 3 volts per cell so my real usable capacity in this situation is around 82 watt hours okay so with the cells arranged in 1s 4p configurations it was time to solder them together to make the pack. From past experience I know that using a regular soldering iron is not a good idea especially if you don't have a powerful one because long exposure to heat can actually damage the cells and decrease their capacity so I thought it would be a good time to get a spot welder. As luck would have it Banggood had recently stocked some pretty reasonably priced spot welders that would have been perfect for the job so it didn't take long for me to become a happy customer with a brand new one in hand. And along with the spot welder I also ordered some pure nickel strips just to make sure the pack is assembled properly with quality parts. With the spot welder putting the pack together literally took a few minutes and was super easy and there are no unpleasant fumes to worry about. First I welded the parallel packs and then stacked them in a 3S configuration and welded that as well. And wouldn't you know it, a fully functional 3S 4P lithium ion pack was born. Next step would be to add wiring and a battery management system or BMS for short. That would be responsible for charging and balancing the cells. The idea here is that you don't need to connect a balancer from the battery to a charger but rather only the power cables and the BMS board will take care of the balancing. Keep in mind that not all BMS boards have a balance feature so read the description before you buy. Also my idea is not to remove this battery from the ground station ever so being able to charge it only via two power cables would make things a lot simpler and easier. BMS boards come in different sizes and shapes for all kinds of batteries so it shouldn't be a problem to find one that would work for your project. I added an external balance cable on mine just so I can connect it more easily to my charger to see the cell's balance state to make sure the BMS board is working properly. Once all of the wiring here was done it was time to do the other part of the battery sub project the solar panel and charge controller my end goal is to have a 50 watt foldable solar panel that would be charging the 
the battery all day long so I will never need to take it out of the ground station to charge it from a socket or with a normal charger. To test the viability of this scheme I got a 10 watt solar panel and a solar charge controller designed specifically for lithium ion batteries that is also small and compact and is perfect for my project. First step was to provide my solar panel with a proper connector not forgetting the heat ring of course and the next step was to do the same for the solar charge controller. As you can see I am using my trusty third hand stand with a multi-purpose vise which makes soldering so much easier. I don't know what I would do without it anymore. So once all of the soldering and heat shrinking is done, this little system is ready for some testing. A 10 watt solar panel would not be enough to power a full featured ground station, but this one is only for testing. Later on I will get a bigger one if all is good and I just may get some proper lithium ion cells just so I can make a larger pack. So far testing has been going great. Everything is working as it should and actually the solar charge controller is charging the battery only up to 4.1 volts per cell which is perfect and it is how I wanted it as this will improve the life of the battery greatly at the cost of very little capacity. If this is going to stay planted inside the ground station for a long time you certainly don't want to have to replace it often. Right so this was part one of my ground station build the lithium ion battery pack and solar system. I hope this video has been useful to some of you and if that is so please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and consider liking and follow me on Facebook for daily updates. Everything used in this video is linked in the description below and if you decide to buy any of these items I would greatly appreciate the support. Safe charging and I will see you next time.